What is up guys? This is gonna be a really quick video just showing you my daily crystal fly route. Why do we want to collect crystal flies? It's for this little valuable thing right here called crystal cores. Now if you ask what are these things for? These things are for crafting condensed resin to make farming your uh, resin a lot faster. Anyway, this route I'm about to do is something that you could do every single day. It should give you uh, anywhere above 25 or 30 crystal flies. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of commentary here every now and then, uh, especially when I have to explain something, such as our first area here, um, where we kind of need to wait for them to come down a little bit before you start collecting them. Now, I would suggest uh, bringing a double animal team here, and if you have Kazuha, uh, that would even be better. Now, that one got away, but don't, don't you worry. We can come back for that right away. Let's just go over to our next spot. Alright, so anyway, um, occasionally I'm going to be quiet here, especially if there's nothing to explain. Don't worry about crystal flies that are that escape you, because you can actually just teleport away and come back. Uh, although if you do fail to get them in your first return there, uh, you're going to have to wait like a few minutes before you return there and then they'll, they'll come back to the area. But after your first teleport there, they will be back like immediately. A lot of these spots, the crystal flies are actually right next to teleporters. I've chosen these specifically because I'm somebody who doesn't have a lot of time uh, in their day to be running around looking for crystal flies in every single spot that you see in the online interactive map. Alright, so now that we've gotten the ones that are in the desert, let's go back to the one that got away over here. I should have returned already. So if we look up, there she is. So why I recommended ha bringing a double animal team is for double animal resonance. It gives you, um, it, it reduces your stamina consumption for sprinting, swimming, and pretty much everything. Um, and if you have Kazwa, uh, as you can see, uh, occasionally I'm going to be using Kazwa to catch up to crystal flies that fly a little bit too high for me. Oh, and do note that when you teleport to a certain area, if it's raining, because crystal flies, they disappear. They kind of fly away when it rains. So when it's raining, that means you don't have to waste time running all the way to wherever the spot is. Now you can choose to log out and then like come back way, way later, like in an hour or half an hour from then. Um, uh, and then the rain like will stop. And then of course the crystal flies will have a chance to spawn there. Uh, you could choose to do that, or you could just choose to, you know, just let it go for today. Don't worry, they'll return to the next day. Yeah. Again, this is a daily spot. Like, crystal flies, they seem to respawn every single day. Um, I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, and yeah, I've, I've already gotten, like, more than 2,000 crystal flies in only a couple of weeks. Oh, also, um, bringing Sayu along is actually quite important because Sayu has this passive where uh, little like critters won't run away from you until you you know until you pick up one of them one of them that's nearby and if uh, the one that you picked up isn't nearby to the other ones it won't spook the other ones yeah and Sayu doesn't need, even need to be leveled in any way because that's her first passive and she just automatically has it at level one Oh, do be aware uh, of using your skills or bursts, like Sayu's roll there, or Kazuha's E, because you can kill crystal flies by accidentally hitting them. So yeah, you, you kind of need a bit of practice, you know, to make sure not to hit them, 
But, yeah, as soon as you get the hang of it, it'll be fine. Uh, this area is actually pretty special. It has so many crystal flies, like probably 10 overall. I don't, like from what I've counted, I think there are like 10 or 11 around this area. You do have to wait for some of them to come down a little bit. Um, if you wait really, really long for all of these five to come down, it's actually really, really hard to get all five of them. So I usually just get started right away and I usually like get f three of them. Yeah, that's actually why I bring along Kazuha <laughs> for situations like those. So because this area is so stacked with crystal flies, um, you can like I often just choose to let go, let some of them go uh, for the day. But if you want, if you really want to get all of them, you can choose to just you know come back. Like I said, if you teleport away uh, and then you teleport right back, if it's only your first return to that area, they do come back right away. But if you've returned there once and then twice, uh, then you'll, you're you're going to have to wait f a few minutes for them to actually return there. The so I like to look around because some of them like to hide in these shrubs. Oh, just like these two, right? Okay. Yeah, so for ones like that, yeah, yeah I usually let it go. There's also one more down here. And then uh, Inazuma. Of course there are a lot more in Inazuma, but this one seems to be the most consistent one. It's the easiest one to get. So again, like I said, I'm somebody who doesn't have a lot of time to be, you know, um, playing Genshin all day long despite how much I like the game. Yeah, I like to keep, keep things efficient. So, I'm I didn't really look at how many I had. Like, I'll probably, you know, you guys will probably see how much I had before I started and then after I started. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that is it, everybody. That uh, is my daily crystal fly uh, slash crystal core farming route. I hope you guys liked it. I hope, you get, I hope it helps you. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.